This problem requires knowledge of three topics. The first one is two port systems. Two port systems. The second one is ammeter follower configuration. Ammeter follower configuration. The third one, the last one is cascaded systems. Cascaded systems we have already completed ammeter follower configuration we know the properties of ammeter follower circuit we have completed two port systems approach we know how to obtain the required parameters using the packaged amplifier circuit the third one cascaded systems we have completed in the last lecture so we have everything to solve this problem we will use the concepts from these three topics i will first read the problem then we will solve it for the cascaded system shown in the figure, determine this is the given figure and in this figure cascaded system is shown. This is the first stage. This is the first stage. This one is the second stage. RL is the load resistance and it is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms. The first stage is the ammeter follower stage. And because of this reason, we require the knowledge of ammeter follower configuration. RS is the source resistance, which is equal to 1 kilo ohms. VS is the source voltage. VI is the input voltage. VO is the output voltage. The required parameters is already given in this packaged amplifier circuit. This one is the packaged amplifier. And this one also is the packaged amplifier. In packaged amplifier, we do not require the internal circuit. We only require the information about input and output impedances and the no load voltage gain. You can see no load voltage gain for the common ammeter amplifier is equal to minus 640. ZO, the output impedance is 4.6 kilo ohms. ZI is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms. On the other hand, in case of ammeter follower configuration, ZI is 50 kilo ohms. ZO is 20 kilo ohms. You can see the input impedance is larger than the output impedance. This is one of the properties of ammeter follower configuration. In case of normal amplifiers, the amplifiers in which we take the output from the collector terminal, the input impedance is always smaller than the output impedance. But in case of ammeter follower configuration, when we take the output from the ammeter terminal, the output impedance is smaller than the input impedance. And one more thing you can see, the no load voltage gain is not mentioned in the ammeter follower configuration because we already know the no load voltage gain is nearly equal to 1. This is the property of ammeter follower circuit, very important property. And now using this information, we have to find out the loaded voltage gain of each stage. We need to find out AVL for first stage and second stage in the A part of the problem. In the B part, we need to calculate the total loaded voltage gain. The total loaded voltage gain means AVT. In the C part, we have to find out overall voltage gain. The overall voltage gain, the overall voltage gain is not for the first stage or the second stage, but it is for the entire system. We need to find out overall voltage gain AVS. In the last part, we have to calculate total current gain. Total current gain is AIT. So let's begin with A part in which we will calculate the individual loaded voltage gains for the two stages. Solution A. I will first calculate the loaded voltage gain for the ammeter follower configuration. This means we will calculate the loaded voltage gain for the first stage that is the ammeter follower stage AVL it is equal to ratio of output voltage to the input voltage with load resistance AVL for first stage I will represent as AV1 and if you remember the two port systems approach we calculated AVL and it was equal to resistance RL the load resistance divided by RL plus ZO multiplied with 
A V N L the no load voltage gain and in this case R L is the input impedance of the second stage the input impedance of the second stage is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms Z I2 is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms so in place of R L we will have 1.2 kilo ohms in place of R L we will have 1.2 kilo ohms z o is the output impedance of the first stage and it is equal to 20 ohms so in place of z o we will have 20 ohms a v n l is equal to 1 for the ammeter follower configuration so in place of a v n l we have 1 when you solve this you will have 0 0.983 this is the answer now we will calculate the loaded voltage gain for the second stage that is the common ammeter stage I will use the same formula the loaded voltage gain is AV2 and it is equal to it is equal to RL that is 2.2 kilo ohms 2.2 kilo ohms divided by RL plus ZO ZO is equal to 4.6 kilo ohms 4.6 kilo ohms multiplied with minus 640 minus 640 when you solve this you will have minus 207.05 so we are done with a part of the question now we will move to the B part in which we have to calculate total loaded voltage gain AVT calculation of total loaded voltage gain is very easy because we have already calculated AV1 and AV2 solution B AVT is equal to AV1 multiplied with AV2 so we need to multiply 0 0.983 with minus 207.05 0 0.983 multiplied with minus 207 0 0.05 and it is equal to minus 203.53 so this is the answer of the B part now we will solve C part of the problem in which we have to calculate overall voltage gain calculation of overall voltage gain is very easy and C part is homework for you once you have your answer post it in comment section I will solve the D part I will solve the D part in which we have to calculate the total current gain A I T is equal to minus of total voltage gain total voltage gain multiplied with input impedance of the first stage divided by load resistance A V T is equal to minus 203.53 we have calculated it in the B part so we have minus of minus 203.53 multiplied with ZI1 ZI1 is equal to 50 kilo ohms 50 kilo ohms divided by RL RL is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms 2.2 kilo ohms when you solve this you will have 4625.68 so this is the answer of the D part. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.